On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the 2021 Juliana Furtado CC X01. This is a super high capability trail bike with 130 millimeters of rear travel and 140 up front. We're gonna go into some of the features and designs of this women's specific bike from Juliana, as well as find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you, I suggest you stick around and hit that subscribe button if you see something you like. As we begin talking about this Juliana, we should talk a bit about the brand and where this lays out. So Juliana is the women's specific brand from Santa Cruz, and they make some really awesome bikes in a full wide range of different capabilities. And the one we're checking out here is their Furtado line and that matches up with the Santa Cruz 5010. Basically what we have here is the same frame and the size small and medium as the 5010, but lots of features and adaptations to make the bike a bit better. And then they also add in an extra small version of this bike as well, so that the Juliana line can accommodate riders from four foot eight all the way to five foot nine. And that's really cool to see full suspension, high capability trail bikes with a wide range of fit for different rider sizes. The bike we're checking out here is a size small in the CC carbon version with an X01 build. So this has the higher end CC carbon. They also make a C level as well. And because this is the X01 bike, it's also coming with Santa Cruz's reserve carbon wheels. So this is a really hot shot version of the bike. Now, a few things to mention about the frame. The frame is gonna run 130 millimeters of travel in the rear of the bike through their VPP system, which is, stands for Virtual Pivot Point. And basically that means you have one link here and you have another hanging out down here. And those are counter rotating so that you get this nice curve where you have good pedaling performance. It gets nice and compliant through the middle. And then it's gonna have great bottom out resistance as you come to the end of the travel. The bike's also gonna run a 140 millimeter fork up front. And that's gonna give the bike about a 65 degree head tube angle. Now the geometry of the bike is adaptable because in the back end of the bike here, we do have a adjustment for a high and low position. And that's gonna adjust the geometry ever so slightly between the two. So just a small screw to adjust the position on that chalk. And in high position, this'll run a 65.7 degree head tube angle, 77.6 seat tube angle. And then in low, those are gonna slacken out by about half a degree to 65.4 degree head tube angle and a 77.2 degree seat tube angle. In that adjustment, that's also going to lower the bottom bracket when you go into low. And the reason you might wanna do that is to make the bike a bit more stable for certain terrain, but then when you're in a bit more trail or cross country oriented areas, you might run it in the higher position, so it's gonna handle faster when you're on the trail. Other thing that I love about this setup here is we've got reasonably short chain stays on the size small at 424 millimeters. So that means that the rear wheel is gonna be tucked in, it's gonna give you a nice long front center for the wheelbase of the bike, and should make this a super joy to play around on. And I think that's where the Furtado and the 5010 really come in, is it's a playful trail bike. You know, a lot of trail bikes have focused so much on capability and this has just capability oozing out, but its geometry is still setting it up where it should be incredibly playful and not just a brawler when you're on the trail. Now to control the suspension up front, we've got the RockShock Pike Ultimate. So the Pike Ultimate, is pretty killer with a 35 millimeter stanchion for the fork. You're gonna have their charger damper with high speed and low speed compression adjustment. And then on the other side, it'll be running a debonair air spring, which is gonna be tuned up so that you can adjust it to your weight and how the performance you want to come out of the shock. Out back, matching that RockShock Pike, we've got a super deluxe ultimate. 
Again, a super highly adjustable rear shock. You can get everything dialed in exactly where you want it. Now, because this is the X01 build, well, you guessed it. It's got SRAM's X01 drivetrain. So we've got their Eagle rear derailleur going back to their Eagle Lunar cassette. So this is a 10 to 52 tooth cassette, giving a super wide range of gearing. And then we go up front to their carbon dub crank set, which is going through a threaded bottom bracket and running a 32 tooth chain ring. To connect everything down to the ground, we're set up with some Maxxis tires and the Santa Cruz reserve rims. So up front, we've got the Minion DHR2 in a 27.5 by 2.4. And out back, we've got the same tire also in a 2.4. And for wheels, we've got the Santa Cruz Reserve carbon wheels, which are just downright gorgeous and laced up to some DT Swiss 350 hubs. And that should make a uber durable setup for the bike those reserve wheels are really well known for their durability and strength and being laced up to a DT Swiss 350 hub, you're getting quality hub performance that's also serviceable just about everywhere. Now sitting on the bike, you've got Juliana's own saddle, which is mounted up on a RockShock reverb dropper. Now the dropper is going to come in a few different heights based on the frame size. Because this is a small, we've got a 125 millimeter drop and it's being controlled with this one by lever up on the handlebar. So you can press that down and with your body weight, the dropper seat post is gonna lower. Press it again with your body weight off of the saddle and it's gonna rise right back up. The cockpit is put together using this Bergtech stem and a 35 millimeter clamp and the Santa Cruz carbon fiber handlebar. The last thing to mention before we check out the weight is of course going to be the brakes. In which case we're seeing the SRAM G2 RSC. G2 stands for the second generation of guide brake, which has a pretty progressive feel. It's not quite the same on off that you get with some other brands. You've got your swing link inside of there to help everything. And you're going to have reach and stroke control on this bike. So now that we've taken a look at the bike, let's go ahead and we'll find out exactly what it weighs. The actual weight on the Juliana Fittardo CC X01 comes in and weighs 28.57 pounds. Well, thanks for watching this video on the 2021 Juliana Fittardo CC X01. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. While you're at it, be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoyed the video.